Hello guys, uh, welcome to lesson 1, Introduction to SolidWorks. This is Tushar from UV. These lessons are intended for uh, engineers and designers. So let's just say uh, if you are an engineering student from level 1, designers, so I mean uh, creative product design student or uh, product design technology student, or if you are level 2 or level 3 student, just you are visiting this space to recap on SolidWorks, you're all welcome. So just to start, <clears throat> find yourself a big rare icon of SolidWorks on, on your desktop. Uh, if not, it can be accessed from Windows, uh, Windows menu, so Windows All Programs and SolidWorks is located over here somewhere. Um, as I said, it, it should be there on the desktop. It's It looks like this, SolidWorks 2012, the version I'm running. Uh, once you double click on that icon or single click, whichever one it is for Windows 7 these days, uh, I want you guys to uh, open a new file. So let's just start with uh, with a blank document here. Uh, just to read the spaces, I see this uh, this big icon here, uh, it says SOLIDWORKS. Uh, since I've been following SOLIDWORKS for a few years now, I can tell this is version 2012 because they have changed this this logo. That is a different font, so I can tell the difference now. Uh, if you were to open new document, uh, there are a couple of ways to go for it. You can... what does this want me to do? Don't show this message, thank you very much. Right, so a couple of ways to open a new document. We can click new document from here. So this is very Windows style. We can click new document from here. We can open an existing document. Or I can go into file and I can open a new document like so. So let's just say I want to start with a, a blank part document or I want to, the, uh, to start with a blank assembly or a drawing document here. Uh, depending on whichever mode you click, you will be presented with a, a variation of toolbars. A variation of environment so if you are in assembly you might not see exactly the same things you uh, same features you see in part uh, part environment um, and so on and so forth in drawing so make sure you you are in the correct environment here and at this stage so I'm gonna go click part click OK and this will take me into the part environment <clears throat> the reason I know I clicked part and I definitely didn't misclick uh, because over on the top it says part near the clock it says editing part and I think it said somewhere here that is, yes over here it says we are in part document so make sure you you, you know if, if you missed if you click assembly and if you don't see these toolbars maybe you are in assembly environment or drawing environment make sure you are in the part environment as I said um, if not you can just close this file down go back to file new file and open a new document uh, click in part right so <clears throat> This gray space here, it's called the graphics area. So every time I say, well, look in graphics area, um, I mean this space here. And SolidWorks, it works more or less like a program. So on the left-hand side, I'm writing the code. This is the way I feel it's really easy to understand. I'm writing the code on the left-hand side. And this left-hand side, I call that a feature manager tree. So everything I create, everything, all the features I'm gonna go through, everything that exists on in this gray space, it will be less listed as, as an event in the feature manager tree uh, so basically SOLIDWORKS is a parametric package I can go back in uh, in those events I can interrogate that I can debug I can change you know, from the from the top I can select a feature change it and see the effect in the graphics area so graphics area this space this is the feature manager tree this space changes into properties manager I'll, I'll let you know when we are into properties manager uh, so once you are into a feature it changes itself into property manager uh, over here we have the these, uh, these are the toolbars, so feature specific toolbars, sketch specific toolbars, surfaces, direct editing, evaluate, render tools, etc, etc. So for the purpose of this lesson, I don't think we are going to use direct editing. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to switch off direct editing. Similarly, I can right click on, on any of these basically. So if I, right, if I were to right click and let's just say uh, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to render anything today. So I'm going to switch off render tools. I'm going to leave these uh, toolbars on. So I'm going to leave features, sketch, surface, and evaluate. But we'll be spending most of our time in features and sketch since this is very basic SOLIDWORKS. Uh, this is where we, I intend to uh, stay for most of this lesson. Right, so we managed to configure these. We, we managed to delete what was not needed or hide, in other words. Over here, I'm sure um, if you are working Solid, opening SOLIDWORKS for the first time, you see uh, this menu bar that pops out and, uh, and sort of hides itself if you go away from SOLIDWORKS icon. So if I were to 
click this pin here, we can make that stay and that will stay there forever. I like to see that because uh, there are some, most of the commands are over here. Most of the frequently used commands are over here. Uh, otherwise, um, if you don't see a command you're after, you, you need to go to um, tools, uh, a particular um, tool family or particular feature family and then you can select the uh, select the tool from there. So the, the, this is another way of accessing the same commands. If you like, if you like to click an icon like I do, um, you you will generally find icons here. I'll show you another way of bringing icons in the space um, if if you're missing some. So uh, this is the main menu. Uh, I'm going to uh, pin that, I'll leave that on, uh, so we can we can do things like Windows Cascade and all that, all the usual stuff, all the win Windows style stuff. Um, next to that, same same old menu. Uh, open a new part file. Uh, open a new part file or new new document open the existing one save print etc etc that that's the that's my favorite undo command so it works same for most of the windows functions most of the windows programs so undo as in control z or just you can hit that icon and you you can go step back over here we have the file properties or file options uh, button here it can be accessed through here or in tools over there we have options so um, same destination uh, different ways to go Right, so on the left hand side where you see the feature manager tree, if I were to hover over this, these planes here, so we see front plane, top plane, right plane, and we see the origin which is, um, which is over there as it is highlighted on the screen. If I were to hover over front plane, uh, it becomes visible and then goes away if I move away from that and top plane and right plane. So if I were to select the front plane and hit the glasses, glasses is the generic symbol or the icon for for showing or hiding things so if i were to zoom in it's actually this icon here which looks like glasses if i were to hit glasses that will make that plane visible kind of uh, well, permanently until you switch it off uh, if i were to select top plane hit the glasses so the top plane is visible now. If I were to select right plane, hit the glasses, right plane is visible. So we uh, we made these three reference planes visible now. Uh, I'm sure um, I, I did manage to configure mine so that it gives me uh, an intersection of this uh, of these planes. Uh, I'm sure there is a way of getting that. I'll, I'll remember. I'll, I'll post a video in that effect. Uh, we have the origin, which is kind of uh, it's always there. So if I were to uh, show or hide that. You don't see that uh, you don't see much of that happening so let's just say if uh, the glasses works again to hide I'm going to select front plane hit the glasses and that sends away the front plane do the same for top plane do the same for right plane we can do uh, we can do multiple select I suppose we can do control and if I were to hit the glasses so what I just did was holding down control hold click top plane and the right plane the front plane and when the glasses pops up I'm going to hit that so we have all the three planes to play with finally before we go ahead and build something I want you guys to be in the same uh, unit system as I am so I like to work in the uh, MMGS system the easiest way of telling which unit system you are on it's to look near the clock and it says IPS uh, I'm pretty sure this is a new feature in 2012 it wasn't there last time I, uh, I checked in 2011 so this is pretty handy so basically I want you guys to be working in MMGS so millimeters gram second that's the system uh, I'll be I'll be working in if you wanted any other system this is how you change it or there is other, another way you can go into options from the top you can go uh, document properties units and we can change the units from there same same destination as I said um, different way or over here tools options whichever suits you the best I'm showing you the all the possibilities so that you can choose whichever is convenient for you and you can stick to that so we have made few changes we managed to bring this uh, this part file into your correct unit system which is mmgs we made these planes visible and we did manage to get rid of some of the uh, toolbars which we didn't need and uh, i think we are in a you know in a, in a place to save this as a template so well, you know here's here's an idea why don't you freeze solidworks in this stage so every time we open a new part file, it will open like this. Or every time you open a new part file, uh, we can we can choose whether we want to start from this point onwards. 
Right, so for that purpose, I want you guys to go to File, Save As, and in, um, in Save As Types over there, I'm going to select the third option which says Part Template. And if I select that, it takes me to the SolidWorks Templates folder. Mine says 2011 for some reason, but I'm going to ignore that for the time being. And I can I can um, give it some sort of a name. So I'm going to say personalized dot part dot. That is a part template. And if I were to save that, right. So that's our template saved. Let's see what happens when I close this file. Right. Open a new part file. Part document. Click OK, and nothing happens. Yep. This is the same doc blank document. I didn't want that. So I'm going to go back again. New part file. I want to go to advanced this time and select one of these templates so you can have as many of these templates you you may want to see those planes you may want to say see the lines you may want to work in different unit system uh, so this is the space where you will be able to locate the template click ok and that gives you a really nice starting point